We get word from Afghanistan today that three NATO troops were killed by a roadside bomb. That kind of attack has caused nearly 40 percent of the fatalities in Afghanistan and Iraq. And it often causes the signature wound of these wars, brain injuries. Now, Clarissa Ward from Afghanistan says the military is taking a new approach. Getting treated by Captain Amy Gray can entail playing with dogs, watching movies, even getting massages. An occupational therapist, Gray heads the concussion care center at forward operating base Fenty, where a simple technique is making the world of difference in treating soldiers with mild traumatic brain injury, known as brain sprain. Your mission when you're with me is to sleep, relax, and get better. Specialist Nick McKee was inside his base when an insurgent rocket exploded less than 20 feet away from him. He escaped without a scratch, but quickly knew something was not right. I felt nauseous all that day and uh, pretty much had headaches ever since. What else? Uh, trouble sleeping, mainly. Um, trying to go on like it didn't happen. That was probably the hardest part. Despite incredible developments with blast-resistant vehicles like this one, traumatic brain injury is still the most common injury on the battlefield. In the last 10 years, more than 320,000 servicemen and women have been diagnosed. Up until recently, mild concussions often went untreated. If soldiers weren't visibly wounded, they kept on fighting, sometimes resulting in serious long-term health issues. Now the military is rethinking its approach. What we found is within the first 24 hours, if we can get them down, get them a good night's sleep, those symptoms usually go away. More than 200 soldiers have passed through here since Gray arrived in May. Almost all have returned to duty within a week. I'm sleeping, I'm eating, and uh, I'm pretty much just anxious to get back out to my guys. I go from becoming Captain Gray to mom, and they will literally call me mom. Part officer, part mother, but wholly committed to treating her soldiers. Clarissa Ward, CBS News, Forward Operating Base Fenty, Afghanistan.